Shea Bear 1000 here. As you can tell from the title, this uh, video is tagged. Three Knives Past, Present, and Future. Stick around and I'll explain to you what that means. Okay, so uh, I was watching a, a, a video, and it, it was a tag video, from someone I've been subscribed to for a long time. He's got a great channel. I will put his link in the description below. I would appreciate it if you would, you know, go over and check him out when you're done watching this. But he goes by Really Big Monkey One. All right, Fun in the Woods with Dave Pearson. There's what his channel will look like. He he does uh, bushcraft camping videos. Um, this man's awesome. He uh, he's, he's not like in the survival type thing per se, though he would have no problem uh, surviving if the shit hit the fan. He he would have no problem whatsoever. Um, if he has some fails, he leaves that in there. He doesn't cut out, and make it look like it went right for him the first time every time. He's real like me, you know. He, if something messes up, he leaves it in there. So he wants you to know that, you know, it's not a perfect world like you see some guys do. Um, some people's videos um, where everything's perfect every time, and it just it just doesn't happen that way, you know. That's why I, I put, you know, like my outtakes, my bloopers at the end of my videos sometimes, uh, because sometimes it just, you know, whoops, or we screw up, or whatever but he's got an awesome channel so check him out what he did was um, the video that he did was tagged and uh, it was uh, his first knife current knife and future knife okay he was tagged in this now when he tagged me he didn't tag me personally what he did was he kinda tagged anybody that wanted to anybody that wanted to do the video and tag someone else or whatnot um, comment in his comments and he would put he'll put your uh, your um, channel name in the description box so I told him sure you know I'll, I'll do this video I've, I've talked to him before hell of a nice guy so ch when you're done with this check this out so I'm going to do the same thing okay I'm going to tag anybody that wants to do this um, is more than welcome to um, leave it in comment below and I'll put your channel name or your name whatever you want in the description box okay now so I'm going to show you kind of kind of like what he did I'm going to show you uh, three different knives I'm going to show you what I started out with when I first started camping and I started camping at 12 or 13 years old so I'm going to show you the the knife I, I started out with and the the knife that I that I currently use and I'm going to show you the knife that I'm going to be using in the future, you know, like that may be my future favorite. Okay, uh, but the 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 past and the current are my favorites. So we'll just we'll just go from there. Now I'm going to put you down here on a small tripod onto the desk so you guys can see this better and maybe even hear me better. Okay, guys. Now my past favorite knife. Now I've used Mora's, but I've always bought the cheap ones, the twenty dollar and under Mora's. Uh, they're a great, great freaking knife. But we're not here to talk about Moors per se. Um, I don't have a Moor right now, but I do plan on getting another one. But this knife here, it's not my first knife, of course. I don't have it anymore. But my first knife was almost identical to this. Only this one's got a plastic handle. Mine had uh, like a simulated uh, bone. And uh, it, it may have been plastic, but it may have been that other kind of plastic that's it's better than this stuff. And it didn't have this on it. But it was just a folding pocket knife, just like this, straight edge. Okay. And like I said, it didn't have this. Now, I sell these. They're called Polecats. I sell these, and uh, I kept this one for myself because it reminded me of the uh, the knife that I used to have 
you know, when I was young. And, and I had that knife for many years. Uh, finally, it got lost or something I can't remember. Um, but that's this. I sell these now for uh, two dollars a piece, I think, or three. Um, pretty pretty good little knife. I mean, it, it's durable. It's okay. But as you know, as you can see, when I was a kid, I didn't do a lot of uh, batoning or anything like that. So you know, this this little knife here, like I said, it was similar to this one. Almost, I the shape was pretty much identical to it. Um, but so we're talking back in the 80s. But um, this, it's a decent knife. I mean, it's it's just a china knife. But this is, um, you know, so. But I, I'm going to keep it because uh, you know I put it in my toolbox, whatnot. I carry it with me. Just a nice little light little knife. You can put put it on a keychain or make a little lanyard or whatever with it. But so I. I brought brought this one out of the toolbox to show you you know that that what my my past knife used to look like okay now my current knife okay which I sell these as well but my current knife is this one I kept one for myself because if you can see maybe the uh, it's a little faded okay so I decided to keep this one for myself. Now this is a very sharp knife. Okay, as you can see, full tang, just just a one blade. Um, so this is this is my my current knife. This is the one I will be taking camping with me this summer. Um, I used to have a knife kind of like this uh, about ten years ago. Only instead of it didn't have this. And it didn't have this part right here. I forget what that's called. But it did have like a blood trough in it. Um, but it's actually uh, it's actually fairly comfortable, really. I mean, um, you know, for... You know, it's like a $10 knife. I sell these for 10 bucks all day long. People love them. And uh, I got some with the blue that are blue down here. Uh, black ones. I got one black one left. It's black down here. Uh, they're woven a little different each one um, but this this one I decided to keep for myself because it'll be a nice it's got a nice sheath to it but also there is another one I will be I will be bringing camping with me it is a knife but it's also more um, which I have not done a review on yet but it's this, okay. Um, this is really cool. It's a little, a little hatchet, and this thing is sharp. Uh, so this, this will be a good camping, camping knife. Uh, it's got a little hammer, a little wrench thing. Um, it's this, this is, uh, this is wood, and the rest of it's metal. There's no plastic in this except for this this is kind of rubberized uh, the guard um, is of course it's got all it's got your little saw you know it's got a but I can I cl included it because it does have a knife on it so when I'm camping this will be the one I have I will have on on my side this one will I, I will have for like uh, you know doing a little whittling and uh, stuff like that <clears throat> And this one I'll keep in my pocket. Okay, so this is my current actual favorite right now. I mean, it is a, it does have a little weight to it, but uh, I mean, when when it's on your belt, you know, some guys carry guns. It weighs a lot less than a gun. You know, and it's got this. It's got the uh, the file with another type of. Uh, serrated edge there um, so yeah it's this is a this is good good quality um, so this was given to me by a guy by the name of Steve that <clears throat> sets up with us when we sell he's the guy I get like all my all my stuff off of uh, not all but a lot of the stuff I sell he's kinda like my little wholesaler he gave this to me for my birthday because I liked it and you know like I said it'll, it'll go on your belt 
you can also stick this in your back pocket. It is, it is a little heavy, but it's not, you know, it's nowhere near as much as a, as a machete, you know. So, this is a nice little, this is nice, nice little setup here. Okay, now my future. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite or not, but you guys saw me building this knife. I did a video on it. Now, this knife is not going to be the one I keep. This one is the one for sale. The one I keep... I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a few more and I'm gonna do different colors like I'll do red, white, blue one. Anyway, uh this this is a uh it's a scorpion. Um but this this is a good chopping knife. But what I wanna do is I may if if I don't do it with this one, I may keep another one. I've got like six of these. And I'd like to make one somebody's looking at my chipper, I think something I may uh, you know put a handle you know like this on here uh, but I don't know um, because I'd, I'd like to make one of these for myself I'm and I like the long handle because I can chop with it um, but I think I'll go with a, a just a straight blade on it without the serrate the serrated edge although this this thing is is very very sharp um, is a stainless steel blade so but I, and it's thick it is it is sturdy but I'm sure it'll break if you stab something try to pry I'm I'm sure you know it's not gonna break where my where my welds are that's for sure but you know the tip might might break or whatever but this is gonna be one of my future ones once I get it made, I'll I'll show you guys and um, I'll uh, make me a sheath or get a sheath, you know, that I can carry it in. You know what I mean? Uh, I might make it a little smaller. I don't know yet, but anyway, this is just a rough idea because, like I said, this one is a selling knife, and it uh, it's going to have the one that I make for myself is going to have a paracord on it. This is this is very comfortable. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not super heavy, but it is a little bit, but it's well balanced. And like I said, you can chop with it. So, yeah, again, future, future knife, uh, current, current knife, knives, and the past. Like I said, I just started out with a little pocket knife. And uh, I think I had one of them silky saws. Yeah, I, yeah, I had a silky saw. Uh, you know that folds out, kind of like a knife does, just like this. Only it's a saw. You know about so long. I did have one of them, uh, but like I used this for, you know, actually I used it for cleaning. Not this particular one, mind you, but uh, I used it for cleaning fish and you know squirrels and stuff like that. So. There's that. So there is my tag video. So there you go. Those are my my three knives. Um, again, remember it's really big monkey one. Fun in the woods with Dave Pearson Hill. So um, he he does cooking, uh, you know, on the fire and stuff. He I think he calls it Chef Dave or, but uh, yeah, cooking with Dave or something like that. Um, he, he you know he he has dis different recipes. Uh, a lot of times he comes up with recipes himself, and uh, I have tried some of his recipes, and they are phenomenal. And uh, he shows you how to do it, and and things like that. And it's all it's all on on the open fire. Um, he does. Uh, he's done a few builds. He built uh, a thing to go on the back of his bicycle to haul his uh, like his you know camping equipment and stuff like that. Because he doesn't take a tenny, he has tarps, and he always has plenty of rope and paracord. And he, he carries a machete, and usually like a moor knife onto the machete. So he, he's well equipped. Um, again, check him out. Really Big Monkey 1. Uh, his uh, link will be in the description. So please stop by and check him out. Awesome. If you guys are into bushcrafting and camping, you guys will love his channel. Outstanding. So uh, I want to say special thanks to him. Thanks, Dave, for you know, for sharing that with us and 
giving us an idea of uh, you know of our video and sharing what our knives used to be what they are now and what we plan on using in the future so again Dave thanks appreciate that so anyway guys with that being said I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend uh, Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys take care and be safe